I'm Dr. Kara Moore from moreresults.com and today I'm going to show you a healthier version of peanut butter. Now peanut butter can be a fantastic source of fat and protein, but it is high in calories and so those calories, even though they're healthier fat, can add up very quickly. And as a pregnant woman who has her own cravings, peanut butter happens to be mine. So I'm going to show you a nice way of cutting down the fat and calories in peanut butter so that you can eat this um, a little more liberally in your diet. Now, the first thing is to pick a good peanut butter. And so what you want to look for when you're out purchasing a peanut butter is don't be fooled by all the things that say all natural or omega-3 fats or things like that. Turn immediately over the peanut butter and look for two things. In the ingredients, you want to look for two words, peanuts and salt. Um, you want to avoid anything that has added sugar, added fat, because peanut is a natural source of fat itself, so you don't need any added fats in the peanut butter that you're buying. Okay. So today, to make this carrot peanut butter, what we're going to do is we're going to combine cooked carrots and peanut butter together. And one of the reasons we want to do this is that carrots are very naturally sweet, and so they're going to lend themselves to that peanut butter flavor, but yet cut down the calories, up the nutrition, add a little beta carotene to the diet. It's all good. So what I've done is I've taken about four large carrots, and I'm going to, I've, I've already peeled those and cut the ends off, and I'm just going to cut these down a little bit further. And I'm going to steam these on the stove. And so here you have a steamer basket. Simply I'm going to add this to a, a quart saucepan. And here I have about a four quart saucepan. And I've filled it with a little bit of water. And so I'm going to put the steamer basket right in the water. Um, and you want the, the steamer basket to come just to the point where the water reaches the bottom of the basket. So you go ahead and to toss in these peanut or sorry, these carrots. And I'm going to steam those up until they uh, become cooked. Let me get a better fitting lid. <laughs> okay, so the carrots are done and it takes about 20 minutes after the water has boiled um, to get them to a really soft consistency. So what we're looking for is um, mashable soft consistency of the carrots because I'm going to push these together or mash them up with a fork Really, we're looking for a similar consistency to what you might see for baby food. All right. So I'm going to take these all out. And I've already pre-measured a third a cup of peanut butter. Now, right now, I'm just going to make a cup of the carrot peanut butter. And you want to use a two-to-one ratio. So I'm going to use one-third a cup of, of peanut butter and two-thirds a cup of mashed carrots. So I'm going to take this and go ahead and put it in the, um, the blender right here. So just kind of scoop that out. It's always fun to measure out peanut butter because it gets stuck in there. So I'm just doing that at the bottom of the blender just because that will allow it to be a little creamy. And we'll make um, the blending of the carrots an easier thing to do. And then with my fork, I'm just going to come over here and kind of mash up the carrots. Just so I can again measure this out. And what I'm looking for is about two-thirds a cup. Now, you can make this more carroty by adding a little more carrots. You can make it more peanut buttery by adding more peanut butter. It depends on your own preference. So try it out the first time according to this recipe. And then you can add more or less depending on your own family's likes and, 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 and taste. So I'm just adding the, the remaining third a cup of carrots. So now we have two thirds a cup of carrots and a third a cup of peanut butter here in the blender. And as you can see, I made a little too much carrot. So you can always play around with the flavor. If you want to throw those in, then toss in a little more peanut butter just to make it so that it's, you get to use everything. That you so I'm just going to blend this up. Um, and we, all we were looking for is for the peanut butter and the carrots to combine so it's completely creamy like the texture of, of peanut butter. All right, so it's all finished. Um, I'm just going to pour this in a Tupperware container. Now the caveat to this is that you need to refrigerate the carrot peanut butter. And this gives you an idea of kind of the color. So um, it's a little orange, oranger than you might expect for peanut butter, but of course it's because it has the carrots in there. So it's great on sandwiches, great on muffins, great on um, pretty much anything that you would put peanut butter on. So th thinking about your own kids' diets, you know, ways that you can kind of up their nutrition value and get them to eat more vegetables without necessarily knowing it. So it's a way of sneaking this in.
Now, I'd love to say that we're culinary geniuses and we came up with this. We actually got this recipe from Red Mountain Spa in St. George, Utah, and the, the chef there shared this recipe with us. It's one of many great healthy recipes that we're going to be sharing with you to help you make healthier food decisions for you and your family. So join us at moreresults.com and leave a comment. Let us know how you enjoyed it. Thanks.